It was a historic primary night in Philadelphia. Last night, Sherelle Parker won the Democratic nomination for mayor. She could make history as the first woman to fill that office. She will need to get past a Republican challenger, David O. Registered Democrats outnumber Republicans 7 to 1, which historically has given the Democratic candidate an advantage. Dan Snyder has a preview of the showdown set for November. Sherelle Parker cleared a major hurdle on her way to City Hall Tuesday, emerging at the top of a crowded Democratic primary ticket. The convincing win was a shot of confidence to Parker's supporters. We have a black woman as the 100th mayor of the city of Philadelphia. Those backers have history on their side. Philadelphians haven't elected a Republican to lead the city since Bernard Samuel in 1947. But don't tell that to David O. The Republican and former colleague of Parker on council likes his chances. After November 7th, when we win this election, they will understand you listen and you serve everyone in our city. O, who ran unopposed in the Republican field, has a bit of a head start on the November general. Parker spent the last few months fighting through a close and sometimes chippy Democratic primary. But Lauren Cristella with the Committee of 70 says rallying the party around Parker already started. Every candidate has indicated that they will support the Democratic nominee, so I expect after uh, some rest and some time away from the campaign trail, we, we can see some support coalescing around Sherelle Parker. Christella says Parker's success came from her ground game and support from ward leaders. It's something she'll have to continue over the next six months. Repeat her message, get uh, into the details of exactly what she would do to affect gun violence in the city, the poverty rate, jobs. You name it, the issues that people really care about. As for O, Christella admits in a city where Democrats outnumber Republicans seven to one, it's a long shot, but there is a path. David O would have to get his message out on a very big scale, uh, obviously increase his name recognition, and specifically tell voters what he would do for them in November and make his case. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.